do want to darken this up a bit. I do need some green too, I think. Get all my I'll just get all my colors back out. And some yellow oxide, which is also known as yellow ochre. Oh, you know, I think last time I used Windsor Blue and not Ultramarine Blue. But you know what? I think, I think I'm going to leave the Ultramarine Blue for this section for the water. I think I like that color better. It's a little bit more purple. I'm going to add just a little bit of black in there. And maybe a little bit of there we go. I need this kind of grayish yellow color because right in here, head out of the way. Um, this part is darker and is reflecting some of this into it. So it's a little, there's a little bit of ochre in there you can kind of see it in there reflecting this let me see if I can get some of that in there there we go so while it's wet I can just kind of blend that in there and that's the only spot I see that particular color now I'm going to take that and try to blue it back up a little bit now that's kind of a dark, let's see, we've got a, and you want to try to get these stripes across here as f straight as possible. Okay, back here, I'm going to have some that kind of zigzag through like this, add just a little bit of water to that. So I'm going to add some more white to this portion. And that's getting awfully gray, so I need to add just a hint of blue to that. I think I need a touch of green. Let's see. Where were there we go. mixing this on my brush so when it loads my brush up too thick I just squish it back onto the palette
make sure we get this paint all the way around the buffalo. Then what we can do is I'm on vacation today, so a lot of people are calling me. Because I'm not up at the store. And that's unusual. <laughs> so, they're probably all wondering what I'm doing. And uh, Jason and I decided to do a staycation um, this year. Okay, so let's see. We want to do, want to work on some of this back here. Now that we've got this blocked in, um, I need to work on this tree. I need to work on this. Is supposed to be some grass back here. I have got to find a a brush. Let me see what I can find real fast. Okay, so I just needed to find a <clears throat> a fan brush. Okay, so I'm going to clean off part of my palette. And the way I do that is I take a hair mister, and this isn't gonna hurt this paint, it's just actually gonna uh, uh, elongate its life. Elongate? prolong its life and I am going to scrape this up if you s missed a little water on top of your palette before you scrape it the paint comes up super easy and I am not sure why that is but see how this side I didn't miss and it doesn't want to come up as I've got a scrape on it and the other side that side just comes up like this it's crazy but it works so I'm just throw that away I'll scrape some of this away I'm sure some of this all right Clean my little knife blade here. Put that up. Get all the paint I just sprayed all over or smeared all over my hand. Okay. 
So I'm kind of just resetting everything. Switch around to kind of a cleaner spot. I should probably clean that out, but I'm not going to. So let's see. Let's get this back where it was. Okay, so I'm going to use my fan brush that I finally found, and I'm going to work on the ground back here. This is, you know, grass. Okay, so I'm going to take, and I'm going to make that, that uh, tan color again. And we, we don't want to mix it up so much. We want some variety back here. So I'm just going to kind of, this ground is kind of thick. So we're just going to kind of pounce it around. And that gives it, let me add just a little bit of water here. So let me, that, that's better. And then it goes back in here. And by doing this, you're bringing the foreground over the background, which helps uh, set that back a little bit. Okay, like I said, we're just kind of, I'm kind of just pouncing that on the canvas. the matter my dog Mia she is kind of like my little painting apprentice she or assistant maybe she doesn't paint and she doesn't assist she's, she's more like just my companion down here in the studio she is restless she <laughs> Every time I look at her, her little tail starts to wag. Well, it's not a little tail. She's a black lab, so she's... But she... She sees me coming to my studio, and she just drops whatever it is she's doing, and she always comes with me. This is kind of our, I guess, our time together. We do have another dog named Ranger. Um, and he is a Pyrenees. And his job is to protect like the livestock and stuff. So he, he does that. That's, he usually hangs out with the goats more than with Mia. Of course, lately they've been hanging, they've kind of piled up together, which is kind of bizarre because they don't usually hang out together too much. So I'm still just changing my colors up when I reload. I may miss this again. And misting just kind of helps like I said, extend the longevity of my paint so it doesn't dry and it also kind of helps with the flow of it too, so it's 
So what I'm doing is just kind of scrubbing on, since this paint's kind of wet, I'm just kind of scrubbing it on and then kind of adding texture to it by pouncing on it, pouncing the brushes against it. And that adds a little bit of texture, which is what this all needs. I don't want it to look like dirty snow back there. I want it to look like grasses and kind of hay grain. Like this is grazing land back there for these buffalo. Wow, this hurts my shoulder. I cannot believe how bad it hurts. I got this shot on, uh, what was that? I guess it was Wednesday. I should have had them do that in my left arm. If I'd known that it was gonna hurt this bad, I would have done that, but I had no idea. But they were taking blood out of the left arm, so I didn't, I didn't want everything out of my left arm. And I have to have blood drawn from my left arm. I can't do it from my right. I have to be able to watch, and it's got to be from my left arm. I know it's kind of weird, but I have what they call a valve in my right arm, so you can't even get blood out of my right arm usually. I don't know if you've ever heard of that, but let's see if I can do this, some of this, on this side. Because this is wearing out my arm. And of course, while I was there, instead of having to make multiple trips in, when they told me that I was due for a tetanus shot and I could go ahead and get my flu shot while I was there. That saves me a whole nother trip. I just went ahead and did it. As this gets closer, I want more defined kind of grasses and things right here at this edge. And this edge is dark, so let me darken this up a little bit. Make a dark color. I still want the, there we go, I want some color variety, but right along this edge, there's a shadow, so I want to make sure to get that painted in. Let me just use this, I'm just using the corner. I think that'll work better. Okay, and then there's a dark edge along this side. I'm going to refine that a little bit. I'm not liking the way that looks. Um, but there is some over here too. I guess I need to change my water out. Okay, let's 
Let's find something else to work with. Let's try... Oh, we still need to finish the... I'm getting sidetracked. Okay, let's get back here. Work on this section back here. So we still need to... Just a second, there we go. I cannot paint with this left hand. <laughs> I have to work on that a little bit. I'm not good at that. Okay. And I'm going to be refining this. I know it looks kind of rough right now. So this will get refined. Let's see, what do we want to work with? I think I'm going to try... There's going to be some trees here. Since this is here, I am going to put a tree in here somewhere. Um, I think I want to work on this back area just really fast. I'm going to put some of these limbs back in. We lost some of these limbs. I just want to make sure that we've still got some of those back there. I want to make this darker, this tree, I want it more forward.
Okay. Just spray that down real fast. So I think this is looking rather good so far. Um, now we're going to need some trees, like I said here, but I want to do the foreground first. I want to work on this a little bit. I think I'm going to use... say what I'm not sure what brush I want to use there's a piece of skin I'm gonna throw that away set that over here I'll prop up this arm a little bit and my shoulder won't hurt so bad. Okay. 